my one sentence review for Five Nights at Freddy is an hour and a half of why are you doing that? What's up, guys? Uh, Lisa here from Headcanon Circus. I'm coming for another review of a movie that I just watched uh, with my family. So I saw Five Nights at Freddy. Um, I just want to say that I did see this in, uh, I did see this at home and not the theater. And I do think that that lends for a completely different, um, experience altogether. So, um, yeah, it's great to be back and let's dive into it, shall we? So my pros for Five Nights at Freddy are yay puppets, boo CGI. Um, yeah, I love that this was, we were seeing like actual animatronics, actual, um, you know, people in costumes acting like scary killer murder robots. Um, it was great. So I love it. I'm, you know, child of the eighties. I'm always going to love stuff like that, especially when the CGI looks so fake that, you know, it's fake. So, uh, it, I think it makes it a little bit scarier whenever you know that there's someone in there and it's in an actor is actually acting with something there instead of like a stick or a green screen or something. Um, my next pro is Josh Hutcherson. Come on guys. I mean, listen, we know we, those who know, know. uh, love Josh Hutcherson. I think he's a fantastic guy. Um, I think that, uh, you know, in, in case you guys don't know, he was in hunger games. He was in um, Hunger Games 2, Hunger Games 3, Part 1, and Hunger Games 3, Part 2. Like, now nah, he's, I'm just kidding. He's been in other things. But, um, no, I, I think he did a really good job. I enjoy watching him and stuff like this. I think this is his niche, and I think this is where he really shines. So, uh, yeah, Josh Hutcherson's great. Um, pro 3 is Stu Mocker. Ha! Uh, obviously that's not his name. Um, his real name is Matthew Lillard. I will always think of him as Stu Mocker. And, um, no, I, it's great seeing Matthew Lillard and things, especially horror movies. And, um, and I always enjoy it, you know, when kind of people kind of stay in their niche. So, uh, and I think Matthew Lillard did a great job. Um, and then also my last pro is they don't do too much. So um, this show, this movie, it knew exactly what it was. It had, uh, you know, it had a lot of basis. It had like, you know, I guess there's books and there's video games and everything and short story, like shorts on YouTube and stuff like that. So it had all of that. It knew what it was and it didn't try to be anything that it wasn't. And so I always appreciate something that does that. So my cons are, uh, why is it so dark in here? Yo, and I don't know if this is because I was watching it at home and, you know, and I haven't seen the theater, so I can't compare it, but like, oh my gosh, it's dark. It's dark, it's dark, it's dark. And I'm getting old. And so my eyes, it's harder and harder to see. I want to turn up the brightness. I, you know, if I'm struggling to like actually figure out what I'm looking at, then I'm not going to be as scared and in the movie as I am when I can kind of see it. But, um, but you know, I think that's just perf personal preference. Um, yeah. So that's, that's really my only con because this movie was exactly what it was. Uh, my kids tell me that it's a lot of fan service and they are FNAF fans and they loved it. So, um, I only have this movie to go off of and I enjoyed it and I thought it was great. Uh, the robots were flipping adorable. And so I think anytime you can make murder robots cute, <laughs> um, it's a win. And, uh, you know, the story is a little, you know, meh, but, um, you know, there were, there were some, uh, loose ends, you know, that just, I just kind of asked and everyone was like, eh, who cares? You know, like, I'm not like, there's a lot of dead bodies. Anybody, what are we doing with that? And, but it's okay. Like, because it doesn't really matter because they live happily ever after or, or so we think, but, uh, and I guess there's a million of these so they can just keep making all these movies and they'll replace Josh Hutcherson with someone else, I'm sure. And then I'll be sad. And then they will just be another Halloween kills and we'll just be making fun of it. But for now, I think that it's fun. Um, 
I'm honestly surprised I got a PG-13 rating because it's pretty gory. So, uh, yay for them for doing that. But, uh, you know, and I, it's been a minute since I had to watch movies like this on a PG-13 PG movie. So, yeah. So, that being said, I'm going to do my roundup, my rundown that has absolutely no copyright infringement at all. My Rocks rundown of Five Nights at Freddy. Um, so starting with my pros, yay, puppets, boo, CGI, Josh Hutcherson, Stu Mocker, Matthew Lillard, um, and they don't do too much. My cons are, why is it so dark in here? And is anyone going to help tie up some of these loose ends? So that being said, I'm going to give this a four out of five, honestly, if I could have seen half of the movie, I probably would give it a five out of five. I thought it was fun. It was great. So it's worth it. It's streaming. You don't have to go to the theater. I do think the theater is going to give it better watch it, watchability. So um, if it's just like something fun, take your kids or just go out and, you know, you want cuddles with a date or something, go watch in the theater because I think you'll get a better viewing experience. But if you don't feel like it, you're a homebody. It's streaming. Uh, we watch it on Peacock, I think. So, all right. Thanks a lot, guys. And it's good to be back and I'll see you next time.